The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 8.30 a.m. Tuesday morning, 60 minutes to go until that opening bell. And we got markets in positive territory right now, pulling back a bit from the highs we had. But you're looking at the S&P futures right now, trading at 31.51. That's technically up three points. The NQ's up 16 at 10,616. The Dow up 78, 26,046. Checking in on bonds, we're looking at a yield of 0.62% right now as you have the 10-year up about three ticks at 139.10. The 30 year up 16 ticks at 180.05. We've got oil, negative 53 cents at 39.57. That gold contract, negative $10 at 18.04. Had been down though, if you look at it, at about 6 a.m. this morning of 17.91. So we're a solid $15 above that price level in the price of gold. Jumping around, we're gonna jump in to write some of the bank stocks with earnings this morning. JP Morgan out with their numbers. Record trading revenue driving stronger than expected quarterly profit. That's the headline. We'll get into it in a moment. You have the shares trade to a high of 102.35. We just came on the air and they started their conference call at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. We'll see how JP Morgan reacts to that. Jumping over to the headlines they have. And there it is, jumping after a record trading revenue. Earnings $1.38 a share. They were looking for a dollar dollar oh four. How about the revenue? Thirty three billion. They were looking for thirty billion. They beat by ten percent or three billion dollars in the span of ninety days. Trading revenue served surged seventy nine percent to a record of almost ten billion as bond and equities trading exceeded expectations. Bond traders posted revenue. Check that out, folks. Just bond trading. All right, JP Morgan, the entire company had 33 billion. Just bond trading had revenue of 7.3 billion, 120% increase from a year earlier, crushing the 5.84 billion estimate by almost a billion and a half. Quite a 90 days to be in that bond trading office uh, at JP Morgan, wherever they reside, maybe at home. Equities, trader, po equities traders. 2.4 billion, market was looking for 2.07. So as we come on the air as well, 8.30 a.m., lots of good data coming out. We just got uh, consumer price index rising 0.6% in June. The number they were looking for was 0.5%. So that number pretty much in line. What else we have? Delta out with their numbers. We also have Wells Fargo and we have Citi. We're gonna jump over to those in a moment as well. But we got Delta out with their numbers. Pretty unchanged. You see the volatility from about 26 to 27.50 on the numbers. And to see what they said, folks, uh, it doesn't get much starker than this. How about losing $5.7 billion in 90 days? Uh, their biggest loss in more than a decade, driven, of course, by coronavirus. Demand remains less than 30% of last year's levels. I'm actually surprised if you told me that three out of 10 people that traveled last year are traveling this year right now. Would you believe that? I'm in Florida, a little bit biased of what's going on here with our numbers, um, but uh, that even seems optimistic as demand remains less than 30% of last year's levels. So they're gonna hold a conference call 10 a.m. Eastern time with analysts. Net loss of 5.7 billion in 90 days, the biggest since 2008. Revenue falling 88% to 1.7 billion. Uh, pretty much in line, slightly above the estimate estimates. Okay, on an adjusted per share basis, 4.43 they lost above the 4.07 the market was looking for. They reduced its cash burn to 27 million by the end of June from roughly 100 million a day at the end of March. So they came into the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, they're burning about 100 million, which means they're burning a billion dollars every 10 days. I mean, what's crazy is that if they had just stayed at 100 million, right? You lose 100 million for 90 days uh, and you lose $9 billion. Well, they lost 5.7. They were pretty close, to, you know? Uh, 
It's a staggering number for sure, but uh, over the course of the entire quarter, to lose $5.7 billion, uh, I mean, you're losing somewhere in the neighborhood of $60 million. Yeah, $60 million, $65 million a day for the entire quarter. Uh, Delta, though, <coughs> excuse me, all priced in as no real action on that number for Delta. All right, some of the other banks, Wells Fargo, not faring as well as the mighty JP Morgan. You see their collapse this morning. We're up to 26.04 yesterday. You sell off at the open. We get their numbers this morning at about 7.45 a.m. You trade from 25.70 about to below 24. We're currently trading at 24.37. And I believe I have their numbers up here. Let's jump into stocks making moves. Where are we? Come on, Wells Fargo. I thought I had the article up here. Maybe not. I'll have to pull them up. But obviously from their chart, I was reading it earlier. There's just so much going on, folks. Pulling everything up in line. Um, is quite a feat. The first two they cover, of course, Delta and JP Morgan that we covered. And let's just jump through for a bit. So you got Google, they are in advanced talks to invest $4 billion in geo platforms, a digital arm of India based conglomerate reliance holdings. So you got Facebook, KKR already in there. Google going to diversify and invest in some digital arms in India. Ford, how about the Bronco coming out? Uh, when I was in high school, oh, can't believe I already date myself. Uh, how did I get that old? But uh, graduated in 1998. Man, that Bronco, one of my buddies had a solid Bronco. Love that thing. Ford, really been struggling lately. Whoops, close that out. You go from $10 already in trouble, you could say, as COVID hits this market, down to four. We're currently trading at about six and a little bit of pop on that news for the new Bronco. What else we got? Uh, yeah, some 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 political leanings with China and Huawei and the for and the so forth. UK says it's going to phase out Huawei from 5G networks in a major turn. Huawei just continually. You got to be careful of those Chinese folks. Whether it's Huawei, whether it's TikTok. I had TikTok on my phone at one point. You know, I was bored. I was, I was flying around TikTok, seeing uh, seeing what the kids are up to these days. Oh my goodness, how old am I? Uh, and it just came a point. I say, you know what? I, I don't need this on my phone, man. This is a Chinese company. Uh, they're tracking everybody. It's a brilliant move from a, a state perspective of China. Um, and just like Huawei, same deal. I don't know if I would trust them to be building out our entire 5G network capability. So they're going to continue to face problems there. So American Airlines, they're going to warn pilots this week about potential furloughs, according to an audio message to pilots heard by CNBC. It would become the latest carrier, just airlines continuing to struggle. Uh, Tesla, so Piper Sandler raised its target on Tesla to 23.22 a share, citing faster than expected market share gains and an underappreciated opportunity in software. Pretty, pretty stark to say anything going on in Tesla is underappreciated right now. Uh, quite the sell-off yesterday, right? I mean, we all kind of, if you were watching the market, you had to be taking a peek at Tesla. 1794 how about trading down $300 intraday? You were up like 16, 17%. I think you finished down about 3%. But guess what, folks? We're going to open up about $100. We were just above $1,600. Be wary of the Tesla. And how about the VIX? The VIX was telling us yesterday, I was getting ready for my Rocket Equities and Options report. I mean, that's 2 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. Why was the VIX trading up positive when the market was up about a full percent? Stay tuned, folks. We'll go over that when we come back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. And just like that, we get the futures actually negative now. 3143. We're approaching the lows that we had at the end of the day yesterday. That price tag 3140 at about 345 last night. Hit that level again at 330 a.m. The low of 3143. We're trading right now 3144. Uh, just since 815. Market sold off about 15 S&P points, fast action across the board. Uh, now, as I mentioned, I'm going to jump back to the VIX, but I was talking about this on my show. We've seen this happen a couple times recently where the market gets a little frothy and the VIX says, hey, guess what? I'm not pulling back because people are still buying insurance. So you look at where we were in the market yesterday, okay? S&Ps. We were up 30, almost 40 points. There's 1.30 in the afternoon. These are 15-minute bars. I did the 2 o'clock update on Tiger TV, and I specifically recall saying, ah, 32.18, you know, we've pulled back a bit. We're off about 8 points from the highs. Now, the updates at the top of the hour, folks, go 3 minutes, okay? So I was on the air from 2 o'clock till 2.03. Things started to accelerate, but I'm jumping around, jumping around to gold, jumping around to crude. I'm looking at Tesla, right? I'm looking at Amazon. Um, and in the span of no time, folks, this market, even by 230, you were down below 3200, and then the run really began at three o'clock as you trade from 3200 down to 3140. But again, so we trade higher, right? From five in the morning, we're at 3188. You trade up a solid 38, almost 40 points by two o'clock. And then look at the VIX, though. What was going on with the VIX, right? I mean, you look at where we were the close of Friday, you start Monday, and even when the market's going up. So we closed out Friday trading at around 27.50. The market was up 20, 30, 40 points. And meanwhile, you had the VIX pricing in elevation. Keep your eye on that. A couple times that's happened. It's really indicated that a sell-off may be imminent. I mean, just uh, that does not happen often where you have the S&Ps up 30 to 40 points and you have the VIX elevated by more than a dollar to a price level of 28.50. Folks, we're approaching 11,000 in the NASDAQ. We're approaching 32.18 in the S&Ps. Now, to keep things in mind here, S&Ps, let me pull up the S&Ps, okay? We had only seen that price level I'll just, I mean, for context, quick, before I pull it off, there's your Fibonacci levels, all right? We've been bouncing around between that 618 and 786. Seems like the market's pretty comfortable when we get above it. 
things get a little frothy and it pulls back. Now, the only time that we've been at the price action we were at yesterday, let me pull this off, all right? And I'm going to zoom it in so you see. We will go from 3,400 to 2,174. My goodness, right? Well, more than uh, we're about a thousand points off the low right now, still. But what I want you to see is that yesterday's action up to 3,225. We had only been there on three days since February. All right. So talk about frothy. We were there June 8th, 9th, and 10th. And guess what happened on June 11th? We traded down about 200 S&P points. All right. So the market might not be super comfortable with this. Keep your eye on the VIX today. And we got some action. Bank earnings in a big way coming out. And with that in mind, I found that Wells Fargo. So they reported 2.4 billion loss in the quarter. Slashes dividend to 10 cents. That's the headline I was looking for. Bank had a net loss of 2.4 billion, 66 cents a share. Uh, market was only looking for a loss of 20 cents. Revenue, 17.8. They were looking for 18.4. They cut the dividend to 10 cents. And that is why all of that combined, Wells Fargo trading lower to the tune of about a buck uh, 20 almost, buck 10, buck 14. Wells Fargo to the south of 24.26. All right, what else we got going on? Amazon. The king of them all recently, rolling out grocery carts that let shoppers skip checkout lines, bag their groceries, and walk out of the store. So they're launching smart shopping carts at its Woodland Hills, California grocery store. Now, of course, Amazon owns Whole Foods. I see no reason why all of this isn't coming down the line in no time. And it's similar to Amazon's cashless go stores. Dash carts allow shoppers to avoid checkout lines as they exit the stores. Uh, they're embedded with cameras, sensors, and smart display that automatically track a shopper's orders. A little bit big brother in there, right? Because you're going to be a Prime member. They're going to know where you are, how you shop. I mean, imagine they're, they're going to have a full map of where you go in the grocery store, what items you get first, where you go from there. I just can't imagine how AI is going to start breaking down. Um, what, what do people buy that go to uh, you know aisle one first versus aisle three? And if they're in aisle three, what's the best aisle to try and send them to? Maybe next. Uh, the future is coming. Amazon. And they're, they're, they're in charge of a lot of it, folks. Uh, Amazon, quite a sell-off yesterday. 33.44 was sitting right now at 31.19. Remarkable action. And what else we got going on? So Rocket Equities and Options. I'm going to jump to the front page. New report that I just started yesterday. I just want to focus on the report I put out yesterday. I'm going to have an update for subscribers coming out right around the market open this morning. So I encourage you to check it out on the front page of TFNN. I'll go over the promo code in a moment. But in terms of bank earnings, so we covered JP Morgan, Citi, Wells Fargo, Delta. Tomorrow, the banks continue with Bank of New York Mellon, PNC, U.S. Bank Corp. We get United Health, which will be interesting from a health perspective, and then you get Goldman and Alcoa. Doesn't stop on Thursday. Bank of America, Schwab, Morgan Stanley. Then we get into some interesting stocks in terms of Domino's, Johnson Johnson, Abbott Labs, and how about Netflix coming to us on Thursday, and then finance on Friday with Citizens, BlackRock, Ally, and State Street. Netflix, of course, numbers on Thursday. Uh, last quarter, they added 15.8 million subscribers. They'll look to add an additional 7.5 million subscribers. I'm going to have a big write-up this morning on Disney, put together some analysis on Disney for subscribers out there. I encourage you to sign up for Rocket Equities and Options. Come out with this a weekly report, but I'm going to be putting out updates every day this week. Most days, uh, most weeks, I'm going to be having updates every day of the week. The big report coming out on Mondays. It's a long-term and short-term newsletter. And right now, this month only, so it's July 14th, about the next 16 days, you can sign up 17 days and get 50% off for the life of your subscription. So normally, it's $97 a month. And right now, you can lock in $48.50 a month, folks. 50% off. To put things in context, you're paying under $600 for the year, even on a monthly at that, which is a huge saving, even compared with a yearly price. This is going to be a charter member deal. You know, my first subscribers coming on with me from the launch, best deal possible, and I'm going to allow you to lock in that rate. Uh, Tom's got some great subscribers to his gold report. It's amazing. He just put out issue 951, I think. 951. One for every week, 951 weeks. And guess what? He's still got people who took advantage of a grandfather deal early on, and they are paying a phenomenal price for that gold report. No matter what you're paying, that gold report's worth it recently with gold at about 1800 But I encourage you folks, check it out. You can lock it in, 4850 You subscribe. Just add the promo code ROCKET, R-O-C-K-E-T. Make sure you add that code. There's the 4850 that gets taken off, and you'll end up paying 4850 for that. And that will be locked in for as long as you remain a subscriber. 
So, I got some good action on Disney. I'll give you a quick teaser. Here's Disney, all right? Let's see if it comes out. Do I have a three-year weekly? There we go. This is what I'm going to be talking about, folks. All of that. When they launch Disney+, Plus, they launch the subscribers, the subscribers. Disney out with their earnings on August 4th. So check that out on the front page of TFNN. I'll be putting that update out for subscribers shortly this morning. Jumping back to the S&Ps, putting it on that five-minute basis, basically flat right now, but we are in dangerous territory, folks. We're right down at this lower end range. We got 40 minutes to go until the opening bell, and we get the VIX, as you'd expect, spiking higher. 31.50 now on that VIX, the high at the close of yesterday, you're talking about 32.45. Stay tuned, folks. Come back after the break. Go over what else we have on tap for Tuesday trading. Stay tuned, folks. I'll be right back in three minutes. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by Bam! as well as whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. S&P futures flirting with those lows we had yesterday, right on that range, 31.46, as we get about 35 minutes to go until that opening bell. Other stories out there on my radar this morning, Johnny Walker. I personally, not a big fan of brown liquor in general. I know it's like the Mad Men deal, right, guys? They think they drink their brown liquor. I can, I can, not a big fan of drinking in general, folks. Drinking, not not the best habit for, uh, for your body, but enjoyable 
cold beverage, uh, maybe a vodka soda, maybe a beer every so often. But Johnny Walker, the UK, they're going to be uh, coming out with paper bottles. I don't know how people are going to feel about that in terms of uh, even I know that that Johnny Walker Black Label, those nice big glass bottles. But um, in the UK, awareness of plastic pollution has been raised by TV shows such as Blue Planet. So they're going to come out a little bit more sustainability in terms of trying to use packaging that is uh, more recyclable. They're going to come out with 100% uh, plastic free bottles of Johnny Walker from the next year. Latest example, major drink manufacturers attempting to move toward more sustainable forms of packaging. Let's see how that plays out. In terms of coronavirus, stark numbers continuing. Florida, we were up at about 12,300 cases yesterday. Uh, that number comes out usually right at about 10.45 a.m. We'll be on the air with Tom for the bull bear trading hour for that. But the U.K. could see up to 120,000 additional virus deaths this winter. Some scientists pushing out there. The U.K. still dealing with this, of course. And, you know, another headline out there. We keep hearing it, right? Immunity. How long will immunity last? If we do get a vaccine, if you do get antibodies, um, you can't reach herd immunity folks, if that immunity is only going to last a few months, um, which one UK study is finding. So dicey stuff in the market. Uh, not quite sure how to figure it out, but it's going to have to figure it out because we got 34 minutes to go until that opening bell and check it out, folks. As I speak, we're trading lower 3142. We're now below where we were as of three in the morning. And let's back it up. The lows that we had yesterday, 3140. We're climbing to that level within a point Within a point, here we go. We got 20 seconds, we might be there. 3141, here we go. There it is, 3140. Stay tuned folks, Larry Pezzavento coming up live with Trade What You See. Check out my newsletter on the front page of TFNN this month, save 50%. Thanks folks.